Thank you, Leader. So 2% um, is widely considered to be an acceptable rate of inflation, and right now we're at 7%. And as you can see from the chart uh, to my left, um, it varies widely depending on what items we're talking about. But it, it can, you know, home heating oil is something that, um, that, is, that is really through the roof. I'm not an economist. I'm not a, an expert in economic theory, uh, but I'm a consumer. And as somebody that's building my own family's budget and going out and filling my tank every week like you all are, or going out and trying to buy groceries and seeing that number just keep going up and up and up, I'm grateful that um, I have the resources to withstand the, the inflationary trends that we're seeing right now. We know the stock market opened like 500 points lower. We know that for the first time in a while, we're starting to hear the R word. We're starting to hear recession being talked about. The fact that, as, as my colleague uh, Ed Ross said, it, it's great that um, the governor is proposing to accelerate the, um, the tax rebate checks uh, that would be going out coincidentally right around election time. Uh, but that's not enough, and we need to help people now. People are suffering now. So why should state governments care? Because uh, we can't control inflationary trends from the national level. We're here in the state. This is something that we can do. We can do right now, and it would give people a break that really need it. Polling indicates that this is people's number one issue right now. It's ahead of public safety, which we're strong advocates in favor of. It's even ahead of COVID, which when you turn on the news seems to be the only story that people are talking about on the news. Inflation is something that regardless of your economic status, you're feeling it. You're feeling it every week. So I am very supportive of this bill that the leader has put out. I, um, I'm a proud co-sponsor of it. And I think that it is the kind of practical, pragmatic thing that our conference can take a stand. And I really hope that uh, my colleagues across the aisle recognize how important this is to hardworking, average New Yorkers. They really need to see this. So I'm very happy to support it, and I appreciate the leader for bringing it forward. Thank you.